Suppose the average annual income in dollars for the years 1990 through 1999 is given by the linear function blah 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 blah, where x is the number of years after 1990. Which of the following interprets the slope in the context of the problem? So basically, let's just take a quick glance at the equation, right? So it says i of x, and what does i indicate? Well, i of x is really, as they tell us, the average annual income, okay? So this represents the average, average annual income, okay? And that will equal now, that will equal $1,054, that is, right, times x. Now, what does x represent? Well, it says where x is the number of years after 1990. Okay, so write that down. So this is the number, number of years after 1990. Plus then, 23,286. So 23,286. All right, so let's gain a little intuition. When x is zero, what does that mean? Well, that means if x is zero, that means that it's zero years after 1990, or in other words, it is 1990, right? So if you plug in a zero here, this whole term cancels, right? So the average annual income then would be equal to 23,286. So that is the average annual income in the year 1990, okay? So in, in 1990, the average annual income, I'll just say I of T, is 23,000. 286. Then what it says that if it's one year after 1990, meaning it's 1991, that means that the average annual income will now be the result of 1990, right, plus about a thousand bucks, okay? If it's two years after 1990, if it's 1992, right, it will be this value, 23,286, multiplied by two times then this change, right, this amount of change, okay? So this, my friends, right, represents the slope, okay, of the graph. So let me just, let me just put that right here, okay? I'm not sure if you heard the bus. It sounds like it's coming through my house. So here we have, this is going to represent the slope, okay? Now that that represents the slope, right, how can I now interpret that? So remember, this represents the amount of change, right? That represents the rate of change. And the rate of change in what? Well, the rate of change in income per year, right? If you're multiplying by the number of years is the amount of income that's changing per year, okay? In other words, it would be the increase, increase in income per year. All right, so now we're looking for some, so hopefully that makes sense, right? So now we're looking for something here that looks like that. So it says, uh, which of the following interprets the slope in the context of the problem? So it says, as of 1990, the average annual income was 23,286. Well, that's actually true, but that might not be the answer because they're asking us for slope. So let's just see. In the 10-year period from 1990 to 1999, average annual income increased by a total of 1,054. Mm, does that sound right? Did it increase by only this amount over this whole time period? No, right? It increases by this amount per year. Okay, so that can't be right. Let us see. Each year in the decade of the 1990s, average annual income increased by 1,054. Mm, all right, I'm going to put a, little, put a little check here. That sounds the best to me so far. And then here it says average annual income rose to a level of 23,286 by the end of 19... No, no, no. We said it started at that, right? Okay, so that's pretty clear. Letter C is the answer. And that's it. All right? So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.